Oh, no. I need to refresh my stuff. Hello, my peeps. I think I'm live. <laughs> I really have no idea. <laughs> I have a, I have a, <clears throat> I have a funny story to tell you about technology. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Apparently I've just hit puberty. One moment. <laughs> okay, I'm drinking tea. <clears throat> and it's not because I was screaming. I did want to scream. Sorry, I'm just checking to make sure that something's actually showing up. So, here's the funniest, funniest part of today. I spent quite a bit of time, I was Googling, I was practicing, I was trying to see if I could get YouTube and Facebook to go at the same time. That was horrible. I have like nonstop pop-ups happening on Facebook on my thing right now. So I really hope this is working. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, because I was determined I was going to be able to, you know, do it all. And I found a way to do it, and it's, it seemed quite easy. So here I am, all cocky, thinking, oh my god, I've got this figured out. So I went to Facebook. Oh, here, sorry about that. <laughs> I just moved that out of the way. Um, <clears throat> so I went to Facebook to put a post on at like 20 after 6, 6.30. With this graphic, which I have used many, many times, I have uploaded to Facebook. And I went on there to put the post on and say, Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I think I figured this out. Watch for me on Facebook and YouTube. Please let me know if you see me. So excited. As it turns out, um, I couldn't upload the picture. Facebook was just being a, a you-know-what. And wouldn't let me upload the picture. I just, I, I did, it, that's basically what I thought. So I started to type the post anyways. And I put this other funny picture up. And the post said, um, I was all upset because I thought I could do this. And now I can't even post a picture. Well played technology. Well played. Okay, well you haven't seen that post because that post spooled for 35 minutes until I decided to go live. Finally, I just exited out of Facebook and went back in again because I couldn't figure out how else to stop the post. So, so that was my suit. It, it worked. <clears throat> if there's a way to stop it, like while it's posting, I would be, I would be interested in knowing. Oh, my thing is doing different things. Um, Anyways, I would be interested in knowing if there's a way to stop it. So, needless to say, technology was not on my side. So then I thought, okay, maybe I can't make Facebook work. I'm gonna, just going to go back in and we'll just do the YouTube part. Because that part, I got all like loaded up, ready to go. Boom, I'm on YouTube. So I went back to my YouTube tab. And it says, you are not configured. You have no permissions to stream, which I just figured out how to fix. And it was like there. It was just waiting for me to hit start streaming. And it's gone again. So if you ever wanted to know before why I like to play with paper more than anything. Yeah, it's because technology is mean. Mean, I say. Oh, okay. But... <laughs> I did manage to somehow come back over and go live on Facebook again. The funniest part of this whole thing, though, is I have no idea if what is showing up on Facebook, where I should look. I think I should look here. I think the time lag is, is going to screw me up if I look at the other screen. Um, I can see that somebody's watching. If you would like to make a comment, that would be awesome. Because then I could see if the comments are coming up in this new place where it appears comments are going to show up. Oh, technology. So, I'm going to have another sip of tea. You know why? Tea fixes everything. 
<laughs> oh, it's gonna be one of those nights. Mm. It is true though, tea does make me feel better all the time. I started the week feeling like garbage. Um, I've been doing a lot the last few weeks. I even went back to work for a little bit, like, and not even full time, just a couple days here, a couple days there. Oh my goodness, I made, made, made me tired. And then I did an event this weekend. And what did I, I don't remember what I did on Sunday. I didn't do a ton on Sunday. And then I woke up Monday with, with a sore throat. And all I could think was, oh, I don't have time for a sore throat. <laughs> no, me, none of that. <laughs> and just felt like garbage on Monday. I felt a little bit better yesterday. And today I'm feeling <laughs> as normal as I ever am. Um, but yeah, it was it was exhausting, and I because I, and I'm getting ready for a big sale this weekend, and that's a big part of the reason that it was like I don't have time for this. But before I even get to the sale, it's ladies' night on Friday, and I'm very excited to see my friends. Um. Anyway, <sighs> okay, it's all good, and we're gonna go through a mixed bag of things. Um, I was actually trying to decide what to do today. I'm like, I got a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I don't know what I should, like, me. Eh. And it's got to be quick. <laughs> Nothing's ever quick when it comes to technology and me, but in my mind, hey, let's make it quick. Um, because I have to go back to getting ready for sale. What sale do you ask? Oops, that's not, even the right, that's not even the right graphic. This is the right graphic. This sale is what you ask. So on Saturday... Myself and five others. Oh, look, you gotta look. oh you can't see because the desk is too dark. I was say, there's a little palm tree peeking out the side there. Um, we're having a retired product sale. A deals, 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 I tell you. It's in Morneville, same place as last year. I should write on there. Second annual. Next year I'm going to write third annual because it makes it sound fancy. Um, yes, bring your reusable bags, boxes, or please bring a wheelbarrow. I do not want to repack. Uh, I still have lots. I sold a lot last year, but I have a lot of new merchandise. Um, of the six people that are vendors at this sale, three are returnees from last year, and three are new. I do believe, though, that all you know, all the returnees will have new product. Like I said, I have I have so much new stuff because there's been three catalogs I think since then, so lots of retired product. Anyways, that's this Saturday. Don't forget, come on down. Deals, deals, deals. <laughs> I should just warn people at the beginning. I'm in an everything is hysterically funny mood. Um, next live, card making, uh, the midweek card escape. Uh, next one's up on, the, I'm doing it on the first Wednesday of the month. So I can try to get people in the habit and get myself in the habit as much as anything. First Wednesday of the month. Now last time when we did it, it was from 9 till 11. Um, I had some people comment that afternoons would be better. And so, but I... But the mornings work too. <laughs> so I thought, you know what? This one time, I'm going to do two of them. I'm going to do one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and see what happens. It's also going to be like just after the kids are out of school. So you will have had your kids at home full time for like a week at this point. So I expect this class to be full. <laughs> so all the parents <laughs> leave their kids at home. And because uh, a week, whew, a week of full time. There we go. Um, yeah. Anyways, two of those. I'm going to put this is in my newsletter and I'll post it again later. What's going on today as far as special, special, special? Um, we still have free shipping. And anybody who um, still wants to get in on the free shipping, I have another order going out tonight. Um, as, as soon as I'm done and uh, technology willing. Let's just put it that way. It's been that day. Um, I ordered some more DSP because you can never have too much DSP. Um, and with it 15% off and then free shipping, too good of a deal to pass up on. There's a couple in there that I thought I had looked at and I was like, oh, come on, do I need more paper? But the deal's too good. The deal is just too good. So they're more wants than needs. I'm leaning into that. And then don't forget there's, ooh, what do we got? Nine more days for this starter kit deal. These are very small graphics, I realize, but I've told you all about them before and this was as much so I could remember as anything. Uh, starter kit deal, math. The best deal ever. So you know how I like free shipping and I free shipping and tax on the starter kit all the time. Ooh, what did I do? I put my hand up and then I put my hand down and I did the paper and now everything's out of focus. Let's try that again. If I go slowly. Nope. <laughs> no idea. Oh, come on, technology. 
I got cute things to show. Well, actually, one thing I don't even know what it looks like because I haven't looked at it yet. Come on. Maybe I just need to give it some time. Okay, well, I'm going to put that out of the way because this is what we're going to focus on next and I'll let it I'll literally focus on it. There we go. Okay, so yes, starter kit. Um, free shipping and free tax all the time. You get a smoking good deal. And then every order you make afterwards, and you can literally order the starter kit. You'll get an email with a demo number. You can turn around right away, make another order, 20% off. Right? And you still get 20% off on top of the shipping, or on top of the DSP sale, I should say. So you could get, like, 35% off on the DSP? It's a win-win. Anyways, more questions, let me know. <laughs> Sorry. You know, because I've been so busy fighting with the computer, let's see if this makes a difference. I just realized that I am sitting in my office with absolutely zero lights on. And I don't just mean my little, like, I'm streaming, here's my lights. <laughs> There's a little chest shot for you there. Um, I mean, like, even just the overhead light in the room. Ah, there we go. Is that better? Okay. So, in amongst my busy days, I realized that I forgot to post the video for the how to make... June's wreath offering. So this is our June wreath. Oops, don't get too close. Doo, doo, doo. Um, and as it stands now, I am working on die cutting the bits and pieces for July's wreath so I can bring up to Ladies Night on Friday because a couple of our wreath club are in Ladies Night. Um, so you may or may not get a video. But then I realized, you know what? There's not a ton in the video to tell you. This particular wreath was a whole lot of trial and error. I gave you the entire, this is as big as this die can be. And I don't know if this die is meant to be like this, which could be a sunrise. It could be a sunset. You could turn it this way and it could be the full of the sky, like shining down on you. It could be anything. In the end, mine is pretty much like this. Oops. Right, I just put it in there. I had the whole debate about tucked it under, go in front, like, and so it's half and half. Because <laughs> in the end, I was just, anyway. This wreath is really just a lot of trial and error. So um, I would like to see creative ways you've made this sun work. I had originally had it sticking off the side of the wreath and I kind of liked it. But in the end, I trimmed the whole thing. So you've got layers of leaves or waves on here, sorry, and a big piece of sand for the background. So you can start just layering. And like I said, it's trial and error. The one thing I am going to show you though, if the dog will let me, is, here, well, let's go this way, is this palm tree. And see how we got some dimension going? I gotta figure out which way to show you. There we go. Some dimension going. What you will find in your kit is you will find, I should have done a better job. I didn't even poke out the little pieces on here. You will find a brown, early espresso to be specific, um, a brown full tree. So now that I've started, now it's bothering me and now I have to poke the rest of them out. Do, do here, my little handy little take your pick tool or pick your nose tool, as I like to call it, which I have never done. If you're ever borrowing my crafting stuff, fear not. I have never done that. That would be dangerous, man. Look at that thing. Anyways, you have a early espresso piece, and then you have two pieces cut out of shaded spruce. I know it's a palm tree, but it's made out of spruce. So you have two, and if you flip them over, you'll notice one is white on the back. Why is it white, you ask? You know why, because I did it with all the other ones too, because I made it into a sticker. So I'm just going to go and, I don't know, jauntily cut this off even because I realized I didn't do that so that it's nice and flat across the bottom. Now, the way this is designed, and you do you, but the way this is designed is you peel off the sticker backing, which if you are lucky, brings out all the other little bits and pieces. It usually does. Oh, it did too this time. And then... You're going to put your green right over top of the brow. That's why it's a full tree. Even though I just wanted the trunk, uh, it's this way so you have something to attach this green piece to. <laughs> green piece. Save the whales. <laughs> Seriously. Woohoo on the brain tonight. Okay. So now we have palm tree. But wait, that's not all. If you take the dimensionals that you got last time, and I'm actually going to... Even though these are the mini dimensionals, I'm still going to cut one in half. Because my rule is, if you just put one, your stuff spins. So find a way to put two. Even if you got to cut one in half, make it into two. 
so your stuff doesn't spin. And, and by that, I mean when it's on, it's a, it's like this isn't really turning. If I just had one dimensional in the middle and I did this, there would be a lot more give. Like it tends, I, that's what I find anyways. It tends to kind of swivel. Now, I did not poke these ones out either. Um, there's some things that are weirdly therapeutic and kind of cleaning these little bits and pieces out is a little bit like that. Um, it's also just time consuming. So when I'm cutting the pieces for these kits, I'm making multiples and I'm just cut, stack, cut, stack, cut, stack. Whatever falls out, falls out. The rest, you get the joy of punching up. Okay, and then I'm going to trim this little extra piece off again. And then I put this with the dimensionals in between. And, th and this one has a big enough piece right in the middle there that you can put them. And then I just lined this one up over top and put it on the dimensionals. And then I just kind of, I do this with flowers and leaves all the time. I just kind of gave it a curl. You can use a bone folder or you can just use your fat little fingers like I do. There. So you can see now we have dimension. It's like instant dimension there. And then because this was, eh, you know, a little choppy, you will also find in your package three of these rustic metallic adhesive back backed dots, which there's the little teeny ones and then there's the bigger ones. I find that these little adhesive dots look a whole lot like coconuts. So I just gave you three of them because you need to have a lovely bunch of coconuts and three is, you know, the ideal number. And you could just put those on kind of on the end there. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with my motor skills here for a minute. There we go. And you can just pop those bad boys on. And now it looks like you have coconuts, but it also does the fine job of covering up where we just cut the thing off. So dimension, coconuts, smooth edges. It's a lovely palm tree. So there you go. There's June's kit. Uh, July is no to Canada. I'm excited about July. It is a lot of die cutting though. I will tell you that. Let me pick up all these little bits and pieces because they're going to end up stuck to my other project. Alrighty. I told you about the specials. I told you about that. Okay. Do you remember? <clears throat> I don't even remember when. Last week, I want to say. Let's go with last week. I made these two cards. And I made them using these little dies, this little set of dies. There's a little leaf, flower, and vase. Vase or vase, depending how fancy you want to sound. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I made these because I had seen some cute ideas online. But um, these were like, hey, I'm waiting for my kit to get here. Let's play with the dies. And these cards are awesome. And these, these blues, oh, I just love all these blues. So guess what's here now? That's right. The kit. <laughs> And you'll notice it's still shrink wrapped. So I'm sitting at my desk this afternoon and I was going, okay, I'm busy and I, I got to figure out what I want to do something. I like to, I like to go live. I, I actually quite, quite like it and, and chatting. And even though we can't like chat, chat, we can kind of chat. Um, and I like it. And Lord knows I love to talk about stamping and paper drafts and all things. So I'm sitting here at my desk thinking I have to do something and then I'll go back to my sale prep, but I need to do something. And I'm looking at all the different things and I thought, oh, I could do that. And then I thought, no, that's going to be very, that's good. I'm going to have fun playing with that. I need more time to play. How about, no, how about, no. <laughs> and as I'm sitting here, the lovely lady walks up the sidewalk with my paper pumpkin kit. I felt that was the universe telling me this is what we were doing tonight. More tea. Okay. So, let's see what's in this month's paper pumpkin kit. So these dies, um, these dies that were the add-on, <clears throat> only the second time paper pumpkin has had dies. Um, they were they've been available for a little bit. They came out early. Um, and then the kit, there was a little bit of a delay. I don't know if it was so much a delay in the kit's shipping. Um, Snappin' Up's working on new systems and that to improve the way their stuff works, like the computer systems and shipping and, and warehouse stuff. And uh, somewhere along the way, it uh, 
it got delayed a little bit but it still seems to me this came not not too bad like it still doesn't seem like i had to wait that long maybe it's because i was busy in between but all we know is we had add-on dies and it coordinates with the country and suite which is where these papers and shapes and stuff came from i can also show you because because <laughs> i never put anything away um other parts of the country in suite i'm gonna have a landslide here in a minute was i remember i made this card as well <laughs> so these um rectangles with the corner cut off shaped dies <laughs> And this is a little bit more of that paper, um, or also from that same country in suite. <clears throat> well, that's my sign for today. Okay, so here we go, people. Let's see what's in the kit. Ooh, pretty. Okay, Knight of Navy. Navy is one of my favorite colors. It to me, navy is like black. It's basic, use it for everything. Now this was this is called Welcome In. So we have a very large floral. Um, this. This stamp seems to be, <laughs> oops, just a minute. How about I take that out instead of trying to see through the cardboard? Because my Superman x-ray vision is not working as well as it should tonight. It must be technology. Oh, see, this is good. Because if you stamp this balls, <laughs> you could just say balls, you don't have to go balls. Um, it's way bigger than, well, it's not way bigger, but it's good eighth of an inch bigger than the die. So you can stamp it, or cut even if you cut it first and then stamp over top, you've got more of a likelihood that you're going to hit the whole thing and not have you know, that big white spot. That's awesome. Uh, this flower in the stamp set, I can tell just by looking at it that the leaf is a standalone. Um, this is an outline though. So sure enough, and I use it on that other card with, with no stamp, but sure enough, it cuts out this flower. And then there's a thing that says, friend, you're invited, a little welcome, and thank you for your hospitality. Oh, very nice. Uh, so then again, yes, this is the, talking about the suite. Look, same paper. That's probably the same shape that I take. Oh, and then there's a sneak peek of next. These colors speak to me. I am not a summer person. I pick winter over summer any day of the week. But I love water and beaches and bright, fun colors. And this kit has fancy bold cards uh, and lots of die cuts. I've seen some sneaks of it and, oh, it's going to be so much fun. But let's get on with the bird in hand, shall we? Oh, we have blue. Is it always blue? I think it is always blue. Oh, I like it when there's Terran Dave in a box. We usually need some, <laughs> some good stuff to seal down. Okay. And as I have said before, I'm that person who does not repurposed my tissue paper into some fancy fantastic thing nope i just put it in the recycle bin move the box out of the way figure out what i did with my scissors okay i like to cut two sides because if i cut one i i find that i tend to mangle the thing on the way out and i don't like i don't like squished bread i don't like bent paper and whatever you do don't fill fold the pages on a book come on You're raised in a barn <laughs> yep. Weird things Tracy thinks of. Okay. So, oh, there's lots of color in here. So I had seen a couple sneak peeks and I knew it wasn't all going to be blue. I did know that. But here's the three cards. So the, the very um, helpful, colorful instructions with very detailed pictures. Which I tend to just kind of look at the front and see what happens. But you can see there's way more color in it than just the blues. Ooh, I think that's pretty. That's pretty. The stamp's not falling down yet. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to just put my little instructions here off screen so they're not in my way. And I'm going to, uh, we're going to put a kit together. Because we can. Uh, let's see. We're not going to put the whole kit together. Let me, let me rephrase that. I'm going to put one of each of the cards together. Okay. So the envelopes, envelopes, appear to all be the same. This, um, is one of the patterns of DSP. It's also the pattern, in case you bought the suite and didn't know this, because I only know it because I saw somebody do it in a video. Um, the embossing folder fits over top of the DSP that comes in the suite, and you can actually emboss. It lines up perfectly with different images, and you can emboss it. So like this big medallion looking flower and this embossed DSP. It's cool. Okay, so those are the pretty envelopes. 
Ooh, we have um, we have those things. We have dimensionals. We also, I noticed though, have little strips of dimensional. Gotta love that. And look at these gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Um, I just threw that in the recycle. That's okay. Sorry, my dog loves paper. No sooner do I put stuff in the recycle bin than the dog takes it out of the recycle bin and tries to shred it as my son is bringing me back my recycle. I don't know if you can fully get the gist of just how gorgeous those uh, embellishments are, but they're gorgeous. And then we have tape. Turn tape. I'm just going to keep stacking things out of my way. Okay, then we'll go with the card bases. I'll just push everything else off to the side till we're done. Okay, so one card. I was doing stuff on the weekend and I had to use my tools because I have I had eight of everything from when we were when we would craft in person. And when the pandemic start started, I loaned out some of my craft kits. So I know where they are. No problem, people have borrowed them, that's fine. But all of a sudden I have like next to nothing left and I could not figure it out. And this weekend, or not this weekend, I guess the other day, as I was getting ready for my sale, I found a box that had like four pairs of scissors with four bone folders and four pokey tools. And I just thought, oh my goodness, thank goodness. I don't know where they've been. But in the meantime, I took a bunch of my tools and put them in the communal box to use. And, and I keep forgetting to take them back out. So now <laughs> I don't have my bone folder. Um, I highly recommend it. It does not work nearly as well without. Okay, so there's two of my card bases and my third one. Ooh. Okay, so in the in the kit, not in the kit, in the suite. Um, the, oh my goodness, the paper's so pretty. There's a version of this paper with the fox, only it's all blues. And look at how pretty this is in, I'm going to say, Calypso Coral. And in case you were ever wondering, if you look at the back of the instructions, coordinating Stampin' Up! Colors. Balmy Blue Boho Calypso Coral. Woohoo, score for Tracy. Daffodil Delight, Early Espresso. Misty Moonlight, Native, Night of Navy and Old Olive. So yeah, we got all the blues. And then we got a couple other colors. Okay. So, and you also know if you craft with me, I tend to turn things a different way. And um, two of these papers are directional. <laughs> so we're going to make the cards exactly how we're supposed to this time. Yes, I know that will shock some of you. But I really don't have a choice. Okay, so it's just this one card that we want to lay flat. See, I do this, but I can see I'm leaving a mark by using my nail. It works so much better. Um, with the bone folder. Okay, so now we're going to go through our parts and pieces and see what goes where. And uh, I like to, sorry, I'll do that on screen so you can see me. I like to take them all off. I don't do one sheet at a time. I like to pop them all out of the thing, even though I've put the rest of the card bases over there. So these beautiful blurs go with this one. And there's three of each card, so there's extras of everything, of course, which I am just putting off screen in my in the empty box let me just uh, let me just make a whole bunch of noise probably playing that up on screen and then put that over there and then we have the next one which appears to be oh i figured out what the stripey stuff's for um <laughs> the these the adhesive strips because this which is how the the dies will also cut them but this is an outline that goes, I'm being very careful not to rip it, um, that goes <laughs> with this one, and you put the little strips behind it so you can pop it up for dimension. So that one goes with that. The one that says, hello friend, oh, that also goes with that one. Uh, you know what? <clears throat> oh, maybe not. I was gonna say, sometimes you'll luck out and get a whole bunch of extra things. This one says hello friend on this lovely Calypso coral that goes there. There's three of each of these vases in here. So like three sheets, each having three vases. And we just need one for here. So I don't know if that's so you can have a bunch of attempts or if it's the vase for the other card. So we're going to pop those up and then we'll see if they actually... There's I notice on, on web pages all the time, there's a lot of... Um, Stampin' Up! Demonstrators, or Stampers, I guess, not, they're not all demonstrators, who use these, uh, like the negatives, to make stuff. I want to see the cool things people are making with these things. 
I am not, but I, I like to see other people's cool things. Um, I wonder why everything is in shadow over there. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> Stop with the darkest card in the corner. There we go. Something is obviously blocking that light, or I knocked it. <laughs> Shocker there. Okay, so this is going to be one of those scenarios. Yes, so in this case, we got two sheets of these, and they each have two. Now, we're making three cards. That means we have a spare one of these. So we can use a spare one of these with the stamp set and the dies. We can cut out a little vase. We can add some extra flowers if we want dimension. We can add some extra leaves. Because, yeah, we got an extra one of these. I'll leave that off to the side so I remember that. I'll just see how we're doing at the end. Maybe we'll do something. <laughs> Maybe it'll be 8.30 by then, and we will stop. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Those are a whole bunch of extra vases because this vase. Oh, no, maybe I'm wrong. Sorry, I'm wrong. This is the other one. Okay, so I need some of those vases back that I threw in there. I got all excited there for a minute, but I realized now there's three. Okay, so this one we're also going to stamp. And then on the blue card. Well, somewhere. Oh, there we go. Hang on just a minute. How about I do that in the right order? We'll take the base out. There's one of these. This is a, a little bit like, you know, the Discovery, because I haven't looked at any of these pieces. I don't know what any of them are. Uh, you don't see these, like, this much detail ahead of time. So, you think, ooh, what's in there? These are super pretty. These die cuts. Super pretty. Oh, I like the fact that there's no flowers. These are just a, a bunch of vases. I like that. And then, I got all excited because there are so many of these, but, like I said, I realize now that there's one goes on either side here. So yes, we will be stamping that one. Alrighty. And then, what else have we got? We've got big flags. We go on this one. Um, maybe in the comments out there, uh, let me know if you're a paper pumpkin person. And if you're excited about all these fun things they keep doing with their kits. I said fun folds and there's add-ons and we had the dies this time oh the extra cards there was the one time I had the extra cards sometimes there's treat holders that match um, the paper pumpkin kits when they first started uh, they were fun to get and I mean part of the biggest fun for me of these kits is you don't know what you're getting ahead of time like I like the surprise aspect of the whole thing so even with the sneak peeks you get ideas but you don't get the full what's going on part Oh, see, we got an extra one of those too. Put that in the extras pile. Um, and they they have just so stepped up their game though recently. Like the stuff you get now, the kits are just they're so much better than when they started, and they're just oh, they're so much fun. I, and I like I like to plan stuff and I like to design my own things and die cutting and all that. But sometimes sometimes I just like to play, and I like to play with stuff that somebody else did all the work on. Spin it here while I reach for my very sharp knife. Because I'm going to I'm going to do this as the kit was intended. So I'm using the ink spot. Okay. This one I'm just trying to find the little groove that's in here. And I find, I imagine you could try to peel back some of the label and stuff, but I think that having the bits of label and the little bits of sticky help keep it when you want it closed. I think having that little bit of stuff there, if it was too smooth and it closed and opened too easily, I do think it would the lid would fall off and the thing would dry out. Alrighty. So one of the things that maybe I should have done was make sure I didn't put every one of my... Nope, I didn't. I would say put every one of my blocks in the... Uh, do I actually need that other stamp? <laughs> so the big floral stamp I do not need right now um, yeah I was hoping I didn't put all of my blocks in with the stuff I did from the weekend which I just haven't actually unpacked yet lucky for me though I've got blocks of plenty rascal okay apparently I've mentioned this before I know but 
he doesn't just take, oh, you threw something in the recycle. He instantly knows if something new is in there. And he's particular. So, no, I do not want the cardstock that goes around the die cuts. I want the tissue paper. So he has pulled the other ones out of his way onto the floor so he could get to the tissue paper. So, apparently he's having that. Because it would be very disruptive for me to go get it again. Uh, he apparently thinks it's his. Oh, what else do I need? This is a very big, very big block for that tiny little stamp. Okay, so I, I, I do have the majority of my block somewhere else. Well, we're going with it. This is a, I think this is a true test of stamping skills to put this tiny little thing on this block. And you'll notice though, I put it in the middle. I see lots of videos where they put it on the side. And if I've tried that before, and if you put a tiny stamp on the side of a big block, I find the block goes like this, right? Like there's no resistance here, the stamps over there. Go like this and without fail, you get smudge or a halo or something you don't want. Uh, I don't actually know what else I need. So for now, we're, what, how come I don't have a thing on this one? Oh, because it just goes down there. Oh, I like that. I like it. Okay. I have now figured, <laughs> figured out all three cards. Now we stamp. Okay, so the first one we're going to do, we're just going to pull these back. We're going to, we're going to do one at a time, but we're going to start with multitasking two of the things. So right off the bat, we are going to stamp. Um, and I, I've told you before, I'm, I'm a picky pants for some things. And sometimes these little nubbins that are there from the die cutting process, they just bug me. Sometimes you don't even notice them. Sometimes they bug me. So before we stamp, if I can pick that thing up, we're just going to give it a little trim. And we're going to trim that one. There. Perfect. Now we are going to pick up our stamp. And actually, because this is a brand new stamp, I'm going to get a I could do better than that. That's a filthy piece of paper. But, oh, this one's a little bit better. Um, and actually, it's photopolymer, so I also, I really should have my little foam. It's a good thing everything's right there because, you know, Lord knows I can't plan ahead. There we go. Um, but yes, because I haven't actually stamped with this stamp before, I just kind of want to prime it. I don't know what the right word would be, but so put the ink on it. I'm just going to stamp over here in the corner because I, oh, that actually turned out really good for a first try. Um, I find with the new photopolymer ones, you just kind of want to, I'm a little smudge a little bit. Um, some people use an eraser and erase on them. If it's a sentiment one, I don't do anything. <laughs> Honestly, the, the smaller, finer ones, no. but a bigger, like solid image like that. Yes, I do. So here's, here's another thing I'll show you. Um, when I stamp inked this up the first time, I had the block on the ground or on the table, and I was moving the ink pad around it, the ink spot. But it also works to just pop your little stamper on the ink spot. Either way works. So this is um, the difference too, and I guess you could use the other one, but I, I kind of like the way this is looking. The surface of these ink spots is different than the sur surface of the ink pads. These are like the old linen ones. And it kind of gives a cool texture. I'm just looking through so I can get really good coverage. Now, the other thing 